Hey, YouTubers and model community. This is Mario Cosby coming up, uh, coming at you with the final update to the 69 Fuse Z28 Camaro. And all know, all us modelers know the box art there. And I think it's pretty good. I like the box art. It looks really nice. But here's my rendition of it. I wanted a Raleigh car. I was going to put a a round decal on the door like a number two or something like that or a number ten but then I guess now you know I just wanted a nice um, cruiser uh, for this you know just to cruise around and a nice long distance runner you know and um, I think this will fit the bill so what I did let me pull it up a little I added the vinyl roof um, and uh, the various different um, photo etch parts a lot of it has a lot of photo etch parts on here uh, one is the 350 emblem right there Does everybody can see that um, back out a little because it's starting to get blurry again and of course the photo etch uh, emblems on the side here let me zoom in on it see before so it doesn't get blurry that's Camaro of course then I got the Z28 emblem or badges there and I got the one here on the Front header panel, but let me get rid of this light some because it's causing you know some glaring issues here. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that because of the glare. There you go. Painted in the front one. That's not the photo etch. That's the plastic one that came with the kit. But I have the photo etch uh, license tag with the flu's name on there, of course. And then. Uh, Going along the side here, and the door, the door lock itself, not the handle, but the lock, right there, the photo etched. Um, the one back here by the spoiler, of course, says Camaro. That one there. Let me see if I can get a little closer without glaring up on me. There it goes. And uh, the one back in here, which is the Z28. Let me pull it out a little. And of course, this is how it's going to be looking when I go to model shows with it. I'm going to have it on display just like this. Of course, this is the uh, from Scale Auto. This is their Mustang kit that comes with the bimbo brakes and the rotors. I added the wheel studs. Um, I'm hoping this clears up now. Come on. There we go. Um, and all the brake detail, brake lines, and added the traction bar, scratch built that. And um, everybody see that, and there's the wheels. Those are the Mustang wheels. Uh, the tires that came in the 2010 Mustang uh, GT500. Had to buy the kit. for the. Uh, just needed for the tires alone. Um, and then those, I believe those are thrust wheels that, uh, that they make and it's a really detailed kit. It's an awesome kit actually. Added all the detail to the rotor. Um, may not be able to see some of the added uh, nuts and bolt heads that I put on here. Let me back it out a little. But, yeah, there it is. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it was a nice kit. 
I'm going to take uh, show you this is the mirror or the underside of it. I'm hoping everybody can see that. Uh, with the exhaust detail and the front end, the header, the header detail, I did a little wash on them. Just a little. And then uh, back in here you can see the mufflers there and did a little wash on them. I didn't paint the straps in. You know, I just didn't want that. I don't think it would have looked it right. You know, the straps that hold the tank in, but there you have it. Um, for a much more detailed look at this model as it, as I'm building it, I uh, have about uh, five other videos that I did uh, in the progress of building this Camaro. Um, so, you know, on one of those five videos, you can see the detail and the progress as I begin to work on it uh, from the underside of the car to the interior. Um, so let's get the hood off. Let's take a look underneath. Um, and of course, this is what I've done with the engine uh, fully plumbed and wired the engine in. Uh, added the Hillborn fuel injection system. Um, plumbed the massive cylinder with all the brake lines. I use copper, 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 uh, copper cable this time. Um, steel braided heater hoses, and back in there is the coil wired in and. PCV valve, that little blue line coming out the side is for the PCV valve. You can see it right there tucked under the uh, plug wires. Added boot ends to the um, to the wires. Pull back a little. Look like it's getting a little blurry. Um, also wired in the horns there for the uh, latch for the um, for the hood. Um, as you can see the metal flake in the paint but what I need is a I need an LED light on this in order to really see this thing pop. Unfortunately I don't have one on me. I did have one. I don't know what I did with it. Um, but yeah this thing looks really sharp. Um, what it is is that that is the um, that is the um, Tamiya's pearl. And what I did was I shot the red, then did the pearl clear, and then shot my acrylic clear on top of that. Of course, sanded, buffed it all out to that nice mirror finish there, as you can see. Um, so there you have it YouTubers, I hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers, like I'm getting new subscribers every single day and, I, and you know I, I thank God for that and I thank all that has, that all that are subscribing, thank you for subscribing. Um, I slowed down building so much but uh, I am still building, I haven't stopped. It's just that uh, work has taken a lot of my time up, of course. And um, I think this model took me about, I think, three months to build. Three or four months, maybe even longer. Um, but there you have it. It's done. It was a great build. And again, um, I got all the brake hardware in there, as you can see. And in the front, I'm, I'm hoping everybody likes the stance. I think the stance came out pretty sharp. Let me get a little light down here without glaring up so much. There you go. Yeah, that's kind of hard trying to, but yeah, trying not to glare. But yeah, it came out. It came out great. I'm very pleased, very satisfied with it. And uh, again, it, it's. Uh, it just was a all-around great build, um, and again, I wish I made it into probably a Raleigh car because, uh, you know, it is a great-looking car, and um, 
that engine complements it, sets it off just right. So I'm glad uh, for those that enjoy the video. Thank you for watching it. I thank all my subscribers for subscribing to me again. Um, if you don't see me, if you don't, or if you don't hear from me anymore this 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 time, I want everybody to have a great happy New Year's and a wonderful Christmas. Until then, Mario's out.